So, as you see in front of you, the slide reads, how many courses do I need to take in grade 10? If you have the handout in front of you that uh, your teachers handed out this morning, please note that there is a correction for question number one. Grade 10 is the only grade where you actually select nine courses. And the reason for that is you have two half credit compulsory courses that you are going to take in grade 10. The courses that you must select and put in your backpack on my path include English, Religion, Science, Canadian History, Math, and then also Career Studies and Civics. Career Studies and Civics are half credit courses they will take up nine weeks of a semester and they will take one spot together in your timetable. So please make sure when you put your courses in your backpack that you count up a total of nine. Some students have made appointments with me because they weren't sure where to find the civics course and you can find the civics course underneath the heading Canadian and World Studies in my path. So here you will see a picture of what it looks like when you log into my path and select courses. So again, under Canadian and World Studies, you can find civics there. As I said, you will select nine courses, the two half credits, and then seven other courses. Two of those courses are electives. So under the various headings for subjects, you can find different courses that are offered in grade 10 and you can read the description for the courses there to help you decide which ones to take. To choose your elective, as I mentioned, you would click on the subject area, then you can click on the specific course and read about the description of the course and to see if there are any prerequisites. A common question asked by grade nines when it comes to course selection is do I have to choose streams for the course, course subjects? And the answer to that is yes. This year in grade nine you noticed that there was no stream for math, it was a W course, but other classes you had to choose academic or applied and that will continue in grade ten for English, math, science, and history. One thing you should know is that you do not have to take the same stream for all of your courses, but you must be sure you have the prerequisite course. And as I mentioned, this information is all found on my path when you click on the course. When you are selecting religion, career studies, and civics, you will note that there are no streams for these classes. These courses are all open courses. STM also offers ELL level courses for English language learners. These courses have an L as the last digit in the course code. Please make sure when you are putting courses into your backpack that you only choose the ELL option if you are an English language learner. If you have any questions, you can see myself in guidance or Ms. Danielowitz in the ELL student support room. Next question. Should I continue with the same stream in grade 10 courses that I took in grade 9? What you should consider is that you should continue with the same stream unless your teachers have made other recommendations. For math, you must note that there are required prerequisites that you must complete in order to take the grade, grade 10 academic or applied course. If you took an applied course in grade 9 English or science and did extremely well, you may wish to consider the academic course in grade 10 if your teacher has made that recommendation. The requirement for grade 10 maths, as I just mentioned, is different. The Ministry of Education requires the successful completion of grade 9 de-streamed math for the grade 10 math classes in Applied and Academic. If you did not complete this course at STM successfully during your grade 9 year, you can take it in summer school. 
If you took an academic course in grade nine and struggled with it, you may wish to consider the applied course for grade 10. You can come and speak to me or speak to your teacher for that subject area if you have any questions. The stream selected for Canadian history in grade 10, since this is a new subject for all of you, should reflect the stream you selected in grade 10 English. So I mentioned it a couple times and it bears repeating that you should really consider what your teachers have recommended. On your final report card each semester, teachers will often make pathway recommendations for students and parents to consider. Please pay attention to these recommendations in the comment section of your report cards. Again, if you are unsure, please make an appointment to come see me in student services. When choosing your two elective courses, is there something that you should keep in mind? Absolutely. You should look on your credit counseling summary that you find on my path to help assist you in your planning. And choose from the following list of compulsory credits that you may still need to achieve. One arts credit, one phys ed, a tech credit, or a grade 11 science, co-op, second French or computer studies. And one business credit or an additional phys ed, second art or second French or co-op are all compulsory credits that you will need to complete in order to, to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. You may consider these various compulsory courses when choosing your electives. Um, a really quick point about this, a lot of students have sent me emails or booked an appointment with me in the past few days regarding their credit counseling summary and their electives noted as compulsory courses in the, on their credit counseling summary. The reason for that is, as you see on this slide, you do need to complete one art credit or one phys ed credit in order to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. So while it wasn't a compulsory course that you absolutely had to take in grade nine, those are courses that you do need to complete in order to graduate. So when you complete the first arts credit or your first phys ed, it will automatically be recorded as a compulsory on your credit counseling summary. If you still have questions about that, please come and see me in the guidance office. What happens if I fail a course in grade nine? Please pay close attention to this. To earn a secondary school diploma in four years, a student must successfully complete 30 credits. If you take eight courses per year, there will be 32 chances to complete those 30 credits. So what a lot of students will do in grade 12 is take a uh, spare, but if you fail a course, you may not have an opportunity to take a spare. If you fail a compulsory credit, so a credit that you need in order to graduate, such as English, Math, Science, Geography, you must repeat the course. Those of you who have failed an applied class in first semester, what you need to understand is that next year, grade nine applied classes in English, Science, French, and Geography will no longer be offered. Next year, those courses will be de-streamed. So if you want to retake the exact course that you weren't successful at, you will need to take summer school. Please come and see me in the guidance office if we haven't already discussed this. For those of you choosing to repeat the course next year instead of summer school, Please make sure that you put the failed compulsory credit into your backpack when you register on my path. If you complete the course in summer school, then you can come and see me in September and we can change your option selections. Are the courses I take in grade 10 a prerequisite for grade 11 courses? In grade 11, the destination streams begin. You will no longer have academic and applied. Instead, there are five different levels that can be taken. 
These levels prepare you for the destination you plan to follow after high school. So the fifth digit of the course code identifies the type of course it is. There are five levels that you will see for grade 11 courses. As an example, ENG3U1, that U as the fifth digit identifies that this is a university preparation course. M means university or college, and we sometimes call those courses mixed. C stands for college destination. E is for employment and workplace. And in grade 11, you will still see the option of some open courses. The university pathway. If you are listening to this presentation right now as a grade nine student and you are considering taking the university pathway, please note that university preparation courses in grade 11, most of the time students must complete the grade 10 academic course. If you wish to keep the university pathway open, you are advised to take grade 10 academic English and in many cases, academic math and science. Different university programs have different requirements, but for all university programs in Ontario, the grade 12 university English is a required course. University business, science, kinesiology, engineering, or health science programs will also require grade 10 academic math, as all these programs require university qualifying grade 12 math courses. Colleges in Ontario require successful completion of college bound courses in grade 11 and grade 12. Grade 10 applied courses can lead to grade 11 and 12 college bound courses. But please note, some college technology programs and some college healthcare programs require a grade 11 M math. Again, if you have questions, please come and see me in the guidance office so that we can plan and prepare because it is always best to work with the end in mind. Start researching programs that interest you so that you know what required courses will be needed. Okay, finally, here's where I want you to take out a pen or highlighter and go to the last page of the handout you received today. Question number seven, when is registration day and what do I need to have ready? Please highlight or circle this information. By March 31st, you must have already completed the following three steps. So you have until that date to complete these three steps. Number one, put the nine classes into your MyPath backpack. Remember, two half credit courses in civics and careers, and then seven other courses. Number two, if there are changes to be made to your registration form, please make sure that you have updated it. All families received an email from the school regarding steps to complete this. And then finally, number three, make sure that your activity fee of $45 is paid through school cash online. We will not be accepting any cash or checks. You must submit the fee through school cash online prior to March 31st. Finally, one last point that I want to make, not regarding option sheets, but something for all of you to know. If you are interested, tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. there is a webinar uh, with the University of Toronto Mississauga and the Black Access to Educational Excellence program. For all grade 9 students, grade 10 and 11 students are also welcome, who may be interested in following the university path. This is for students who identify as black, their families, and circles of support. Registration for this webinar is found on the Grade 9 LMS page. Please check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you tomorrow evening on the webinar. 
And please, um, if you have any questions, come and see me in the guidance office again. Thank you so much for your attention and have a good day, everyone.